Greetings and welcome to The Growing Christian. So yeah, I just want to ask, what does it mean to be a disciple of Christ? Most Christians in America, in Europe, in the UK, will go to church on a Sunday for a couple of hours, but then, largely speaking, they'll return to a secular kind of life. But is this an acceptable way to live as a Christian according to what Jesus says and according to what we find in Scripture? So I just want to briefly look at two scriptures that we find in the New Testament that can give us some guidance regarding how the Christian life should look and what can be expected of us if we want to follow Jesus. The first scripture is Matthew chapter 16 verse 24. The scripture says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. I think sometimes we look at that scripture in a kind of metaphorical way um, which is fair enough because not everyone's going to be literally carrying a cross around so there is some metaphor there. But what does Jesus really mean? I suppose this scripture is saying that if we want to truly follow Jesus, if we want to be an authentic Christian, then what we need to do is take up our cross. So we need to make sacrifices, we need to take risks, we need to dedicate our lives to following Jesus rather than just attending church for a couple of hours every Sunday. And the second scripture that I want to look at is Mark chapter 16, verses 16 to 18, which say this. He who has believed and has been baptised shall be saved, but he who has disbelieved shall be condemned. These signs will accompany those who have believed. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues, they will pick up serpents, and if they drink any deadly poison it will not hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So in this scripture we're really learning about um, the supernatural side of Christianity that Jesus has said we will experience if we follow him. But how much of this is really happening in the church? How often in your church do you see people getting delivered from demons and being healed of ailments and diseases? Perhaps you go to a wonderful, thriving church where all of this is happening every week. But I think, if we're honest, the majority of churches, certainly in the West, are very lukewarm as regards to all these things that Jesus says we should be experiencing if we're authentic Christians. So if you're finding yourself to be in agreement with the things that I'm saying here and the things that we find in the scriptures that I've mentioned, then I want to point you to a resource which I think will be really helpful. Please, when you finish watching this video, Search for a video called The Last Reformation here on YouTube. You can watch it for free and I really believe that it's going to have a big impact on you and change your life. The Last Reformation movement is all about living out the life that Jesus wanted us to live. I've actually been trying to do this myself over the last couple of weeks and I've experienced some amazing things from people getting instantly healed from things to just the tremendous power of God working in people's lives when I pray for them. Watching this movie has really given me a new lease of life in my walk with Jesus and I believe it can do the same for you. So check out that movie, I'll put a link in the description so you can find it easily. And I just want to put a call out there to other Christians who are wanting to live this authentic life of being a disciple of Christ. Please make contact with me because I'd love to connect with you, particularly if you live in London. I live in South West London and if you're ever in the area if you'd like to meet up to discuss these things to maybe go out on the streets and put some of these things into practice then feel free to contact me and we can talk about it and potentially arrange to meet up. So in my last video I mentioned a competition to win a copy of my book The Philosophy of a Madman. I said that the winner would be picked at random and that is what I've done and the winner is Chris Powell of Chris Powell Music. For the competition, I simply asked people to leave a comment with their favourite Christian resource of the moment. And Chris answered that his favourite resource was simply the testimonies of other Christians, which I think is great because that's probably the most powerful way that we can encounter Christ is to hear from other Christians how they've encountered Christ. So well done Chris, I'll be in touch with you and I'll send you a copy of that book. Now I know I said in my last video that I was going to talk more about the idea that God is in control and what that means for us in terms of morality and the way that we live our lives. I felt that God put it on my heart to talk about the last reformation today so I'm sorry for the change of plan and I'll try and come back to the problem of evil in a future video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope that you'll connect with me um, via the social media links in the description below or on my channel page and feel free to subscribe if you're interested in hearing more videos about my walk with Jesus and about theology and about 
all matters to do with Christianity. God bless you, my dear friends. Stay prayerful, and I'll speak to you soon.